Hi, this is Melanie, AKA Princess Ninja. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are coming back, thank you. Mwah. Thank you for the love and support. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you forget. Hit the thumbs up if you like the content and go ahead and hit that notification bell if you want to know when I upload a video. So I've been off of soda for about four years now. I used to be a diet Pepsi fanatic. Um, but mostly now, I just drink water. I drink mineral water. I love Perrier. I like LaCroix. But sometimes you just want something different. Everybody raves about Zevia. I have heard a couple side effects, some uncomfortable things that happen to some people who drink this because maybe they're just reacting to the Stevia leaf. But this soda is made with non-GMO, pure Stevia extract. The issue that I run into is there are some quote unquote keto friendly foods that actually cause my body a glycemic reaction. So today I'm going to be testing my blood sugar before I try Zevia for the first time, the cream soda. And then I'm going to wait 30 minutes after I try it and we'll see where my blood sugar is there. And then even though your blood sugar, your body may react differently than my body, at least you can see, hey, she's a type 2 diabetic and it's not affecting her. It might be safe to try. And I'm going to tell you how it tastes because that's important. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I have washed my hands. I have been fasting since 6 p.m. last night. It is now 11.28, so I have been fasting six, six, almost 18 hours. Um, the only thing that I've had today is black coffee and of course, water, 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 and Soleil water. I do my two tablespoons of Soleil water in my water every day for electrolytes. Okay, so a lot of people are afraid of this, but really, I guess I'm just used to it. I mean, it's a small sting that really did not go as deep as I like. Ugh, I'm struggling. Okay, so just a little tiny speck. And what I like about these strips is it uh, seriously, just that little tiny amount of blood is all I need. All I need is just a little more time. This is actually pretty high considering I've been fasting. It says 97. Um, so I'm really not concerned about it. I'm just going to want to know what my blood sugar is before I drink something. Drink it 30 minutes later test it again and if it is 97 or less or maybe it's 98 then I know it has very minimal impact on my blood sugar. That does not mean that it's not going to cause an insulin response. Insulin response and glucose two different monsters. So I'm going to be trying the Zevia and if it doesn't have a glucose response I might incorporate one a week or two a week just to have something a little extra to make me feel like I haven't missed anything in life in general. But also I wanna know what the product tastes like. Okay, so I have been fasting now for over 18 hours. My blood sugar is still sitting at around 91 to 95. Like I said, it can change depending on the strip. There's a lot of things that can impact your blood sugar. But I'm going to drink this and I'm not going to drink or eat anything else for 30 minutes and I will test my sugar again to be able to confirm to you whether or not Zevia cream soda impacts my blood sugar. All right, I'm back. It has been actually, I kind of missed the ball a little bit. It's been 35 minutes since I finished eight ounces of the Zevia. And I'm going to test my blood sugar again. As far as the flavor goes, I mean, it's different. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It probably wouldn't be something that I would spend 
six dollars on weekly but I'm definitely going to keep it in my house just for those days where I want something different to drink I'm tired of drinking the same things so here we go let's see if Zevia impacts my blood glucose now remember when I tested it before it was 97 oh and it is now 79 so no impact now I don't know how much of that has to do with the fact that I am now fasted for almost 19 hours and I know that at 20 hours fasted uh, almost all of my blood glucose stores are going to be depleted but if Zevia was going to impact my blood sugar my blood sugar definitely wouldn't be 79 right now because I started 30 minutes ago at 91 so uh, we're just going to split the difference my blood sugars dropped 10 points but I have been up I've been active I've been cooking the wings smell amazing and I'm hoping that you're part of my crew that watched the live video. Me and Tracy are about to get our wings on. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, would I buy Zevia again? Yeah, I might keep a six pack in the house just for those times when I wanted something different. And let me tell you a little something, knowing that the cream soda tastes like that, I'd be a little excited to try the cola flavor, maybe as a mixer for those nights that I want an adult cocktail without the keto consequences. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. You keep being a keto. I'm a keto. Okay. <laughs> you keep being a ninja. I'll keep being a ninja. We're going to just ninja this.